हेलो एवरी वन सो इन कॉन्टेक्स विद द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑन जेनेटिक एल्गोरिदम वी हैव एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट नाउ वी आर सिम्पली गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्राम सॉल्विंग एन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी द कॉन्टेक्स यू कैन गो ऑन टू द प्रीवियस वीडियोज टू अंडरस्टैंड द कम्प्लीट प्रोसीजर ओके नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व द एग्जाम्पल वी आर गिवन दैट वी हैव टू मैक्सीमाइज दिस फंक्शन एफ एफ एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वेयर विद एक्स इन द इंटरवल ऑफ जीरो टू थर्टी वन so uh, the question says that we have to find such uh, values of x which actually give a very high value for this f of x so uh, the common sense says that if i got to put all these values from 0 to 31 one by one here i am going to get a lot number of combinations a lot number of options and huge number of calculations so if i want to save my time I am going to use this heuristic algorithm, which is genetic algorithm. First of all, I am going to initialize my population randomly. What does this statement mean? That I will randomly pick any numbers from here. So I am picking, let's assume, thirteen, and I am picking uh, twenty-four, um, eight, and let's say nineteen. Okay. So this is my random population. Once I am done with picking this population, the first step that I am going to do is I am going to do some coding. What does coding mean? Coding means that I am simply going to convert it into its uh, into their binary numbers. The binary number for thirteen is zero one one zero. The binary number for twenty four is one one zero zero zero. The binary number for eight is zero one zero zero zero. and the binary number for 19 is 10011 so these are basically the binary conversions you can do them with the calculator all right so once i'm done with the coding now next thing i'm going to do is to calculate the fitness what does this fitness means that i fitness means that i will evaluate that which of these parents is uh, is a fit function to generate next uh, populations so to evaluate the fitness one by one i am going to put these values into my fitness function so if i put um, x equal to um, you know first number was 13 so f of x will uh, once i take this 13 square so f of x will become 169 similarly if i take x to be uh, the next number 24 then this f of x will become 24 square will answer into 576 similarly when i uh, take x as uh, the next number which i selected was 8 so this f of x will come out to be 64 and then for 13 uh, for this next number uh, which i selected as 19 the x will come out to be 361 so depending on my Uh, fitness function which is given to you in the question uh, this f of x can be calculated maybe in some cases you will be given uh, instead of x square you can be given with x plus 1 or x minus 1 so you are going to put the value of x into that function whichever is given to you with this uh, procedure you are actually calculating the fitness of each parent uh, how fit each parent uh, parent means this number is for on to that fitness function so now comes the third step which is basically the fitness function or the parent selection we can have multiple methods of parent selection one method which is most popular is roulette wheel selection in roulette wheel selection we have a certain uh, we have to calculate the percentage uh, percentage of all the parents which is actually uh, something like this in which this f represents the fitness of that specific parent which we are talking about and this is of course you understand a summation so this is the sum of the fitnesses of all the parents so now we are going to perform this and what we call this uh, method of selection we call it a uh, roulette wheel selection why we call it roulette wheel selection because it is just like a roulette wheel in which every individual is given a certain you know percentage maybe this percentage this percentage and this percentage and you spin the roulette wheel and randomly the wheel is going to spin and it is going to come and stop so whichever parent is going to have a large portion for example 
this one is having a large portion so it has more chances of selection uh, for example we can say that this one is having a small portion so it has less chances of selection so this is roulette wheel uh, okay now i have written all these four strings which i selected randomly in this table so here are the binary codes of all those four strings these are their actual decimal values and these are their fitness values which i evaluated by placing them in this function and now here is the probability which uh, the formula i introduced for the roulet wheel so uh, how does it work it works like the fitness of that individual parent divided by the sum of fitnesses of all that individual parent comes on the numerator and the sum comes in the denominator so in this way we calculate the uh, the probability or the fitness criteria uh, for each individual so we have actually calculated the probabilities for all of these strings which comes out to be 0 0.14 0 0.49 0 0.22 0 0.23 and the sum of all these probabilities should come out to be 1 then we can found the expected count for all these probabilities the expected count is simply multiplying this value by n here n is 1 2 3 4 so i'm multiplying the 0 0.14 with 4 similarly i'm multiplying the 0 0.49 with 4 and 0 0.22 with 4 and 0 0.23 with 4 in the end if i go to uh, add this expected count it uh, will also it is coming as 4 and it should come as 4 because I, we have multiplied it with 4 so these sums can be actually your checks so by now we have performed this third very interesting and most important step of uh, genetic algorithm we have applied the roulette wheel selection on the parents and now we can actually identify that which is the fit parent and which uh, parent needs to be discarded so in the next uh, step while uh, generating the next population or generating the offsprings i have actually repeated the string number two uh, two times and I have discarded the third string because it has the lowest count so I have discarded it uh, and I have repeated the second string which, which had the highest count now before generating the next offsprings I am going to use the crossover technique of reproduction in crossover technique I, I am going to uh, I can do uh, the crossover randomly from any position but I am just selecting it I am going to do a crossover from this fourth position for these first two strings and for these second two strings I am deciding to do a crossover from this position so when I do a crossover like this so I will simply do uh, 0 1 1 0 and in place of this one I am going to write down this 0 and then for the second uh, chromosome I am going to write like uh, this 1 1 0 0 and for this large 0 I am going to write down 1 so this is uh, going to be the offspring after crossover Similarly, if I do the crossover here, so I'm going to write down this 1, 1 as it is. And instead of these 0 strings, I'm going to write down this string, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, for, uh, for writing this of uh, chromosome, I'm going to write 1, 0. And instead of this 0, 1, 1, I'm going to write down this string, 0, 0, 0. So now these are my offsprings of the crossovers. If I uh, got to write them uh, in terms of uh, uh, decimals, so they become... Uh, 12, 25, 27 and 16. These can be calculated with the help of calculators. Now let's apply uh, that fitness function again. This fitness function we were applying in the first step on the initial population. So we are going to apply it again. So when I apply it over on this new population, it will become 144, 625. 729 and 256 if uh, this is basically the fitness of each individual each chromosome so what is the sum the sum is coming out to be 1754 so if you compare this 1754 so if we compare this uh, sum score with the previous score that we got this was the previous sum score that we got with the initial population and this is the new sum score that we have got with the new population so this is higher than this so this is telling me that uh, yes i am approaching in a good direction in my genetic algorithm if i calculate the probabilities so you can see that this is the smallest number and uh, this one is the largest number right so if i divide these numbers by this sum i am going to get a very high value here highest value here 
and I'm going to get a low value here. So uh, when I'm going to generate the new population, I'm simply going to discard this string and I'm going to repeat this string two times. So I'll be taking this second string and I'll be repeating uh, this sec uh, this was uh, you know this was a uh, second string initially but after crossover it's a new string now. So I'm going to repeat this string two times and uh, I'm going to discard the string and then I can uh, generate a new population. Well, I can use crossover once again, but just to give you an idea of mutation, I'm going to generate new population with the help of mutation. This step of reproduction, we are using mutation technique instead of crossover. So in mutation, we again selected those uh, good strings from the last population. We had uh, picked the second string two times because it has highest probability. So now uh, in mutation, we are randomly choosing one bit of the first string into another digit. So this zero is becoming one rest the string is coming out to be same uh, this second string was having a highest probability so we are not changing it we can change it either but uh, you can work without changing it in this fourth string i am randomly picking this bit to be switched now i am converting these binaries into decimal and i am calculating their fitness based on the same fitness function uh, of f is equal to fx square and when I sum these fitness, I'm getting out to, be, to on uh, this score of 2354. If you compare this score with the previous score, uh, this score is coming out higher. It means that the genetic algorithm is moving in the right direction. We can keep on uh, generating more and more generations. You can see that in the next step, we can discard this uh, string because it has the, lo uh, the lowest, um, we can say the lowest fitness function. And we can consider these three strings and amongst them, this one is highest. So we can repeat this string two times to generate next generations and then we can either use mutation or we can uh, use uh, crossover. In the question you may be asked that you have to use crossover two times or uh, then you can use crossover two times or in the question you can be asked that you have to generate n number of generations then you will definitely generate that number of generation and in the end you will be showing your fitness score. So this is how we end up with the genetic algorithm if you have any questions regarding it you can post me if you like this video do uh, like it do subscribe it thank you very much i love this we can see from here that this 1.97 uh, string or this parent has got the highest expected count or has got the highest fitness and this uh, 0.22 parent or string has got the lowest count so when we are going to proceed further uh, to produce uh, next offsprings, then we are going to discard this string and we are going to use uh, this string. So this is going to be repeated uh, and this one is going to be discarded. In the next step, we are going to perform crossover, which is actually uh, one of the reproduction techniques that we are going to use.